Hey guys, Eric here, aka Coslos. Welcome to my very first video tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make these cool looking geometric shapes. They look pretty, you know, pretty intricate, but they are actually very easy to make inside Cinema 4D. And today I'm going to show you how. So let's head into Cinema 4D. I am using R17, in case you're wondering, and this screen is uh, the Octane Renderer Live Viewer. I'm using Octane Renderer. Uh, Octane Renderer is not uh, mandatory for this tutorial. You can do just fine without it. Just use the standard renderer or some other render. It's okay. So let's get right to it. Uh, first of all, you are going to need to create a cylinder, which you can do by clicking this cube button and head to cylinder, release, and there you go beautiful cylinder. Next you are going to need an array which you can make by clicking this button. Go to array, click and release. Click the cylinder, drag and drop it onto the array so you can make it a child of the array. Now as you can see you get this circular like shape but we need to rotate it. It's pointing the wrong way. Select the array, select the rotation tool, which you can do by pressing R on your keyboard or selecting the rotate tool over here. Hold shift and drag the array 90 degrees. I hold shift so I can drag in increments of 10 degrees at a time. Now you get this you know, star-like shape, which is the base for uh, the shapes we are going to make. Uh, next up, I will need to rotate the cylinder. I was struggling with this part a bit because uh, when I first tried this, I could not for the life of me rotate it. I selected the cylinder, went to coordinates and tried to, you know, do a rotation, but it would not let me. Now, here's a Quick tip, if you put the cylinder inside of a null object, which you can do by pressing Alt G on your keyboard, there you go, a null object, make sure it's a child of the array and make sure the cylinder is a child of your null. Now you can actually rotate your cylinders. Hold Shift to Hold Shift doesn't work just <laughs> put in 90 degrees and there you go you got this cool looking star like shape this is actually the base for the geometric shapes we are going to create next up you are going to need a displacer which you can find under this button scroll to displacer drag and drop it onto the cylinder so it is a child of the cylinder click the displacer Click on the shading tab, go to shader, click on the small arrow next to shader, select noise. And now you can see something happening over here. Next up, click the noise tab, the noise you just added. And in the noise tab, under global scale, put 600%. Click on the displacer again. Click on the object tag and up the strength to 240%. And up the height to 175. Now you can see something happening already, which is pretty cool. Click the cylinder and adjust the height segments to three and the rotation segments to four. Now. Now you got this cool looking geometric shape. Zoom out a bit. I just enabled my Octane Live Viewer so I can see the, the rendered output, which is looking pretty cool already. And by adjusting the settings in your noise, or you know, you can up the cycles, just set it to one, I prefer zero, or you can adjust the global scale to 500 or 400 or whatever you like. And in the cylinder object tab, you can adjust the height segments so you can get more 
organic looking shapes or adjust the rotation segments. You can up the height. And as you can see, this will all produce very different, cool looking results. Now, if you go to your displacer shading noise tab, and under noise, just start scrolling through your noises. And as you can see, they all produce a very different results. I'll just keep scrolling for a bit. You can also I'll select a, a cool looking one like this one. You can also under cylinder caps add a fillet, which will make more rounded edges. Up the radius. You can also up the segments. Be careful with doing this. Don't, you know, give it a thousand segments because it will kill your computer and as you can see this will produce some very very cool shapes now let me just add some light just to you know show off what you can do I'll just add a HDRI environment hmm. adjust the lightning a bit there you go. And just give it a material. This is a cool material I made a while ago. Some scratchy looking metallic stuff. Now lastly, it's a question I get a lot. How do you add your colored backgrounds to your renders? It's, it's very simple. I just add a simple plane, rotate it. Oop. If it doesn't freeze, rotate it 90 degrees, up the scale, move it backwards a bit. So there you go. Just create a material. I'll just leave it, uh, I can make it you know, light blue. Put it on the plane. There you go. You can also, you know, add a gradient or whatever. It's pretty simple. Just add a and a plane with a texture, that's it. And as you can see, you, it's already pretty, pretty cool looking. So let me know what you make with this little trick. Post it in the comments or let me know through Twitter or Instagram. Very curious what you guys will make with this. All right, that's my very first tutorial. Thanks for watching. I will see you around. Bye bye.